Okay, hello again. We have a problem kind of like number six. Fred, Fred the custodian. Actually, the custodian is, uh, his name is Fred. He's uh, sweeping the floor. So if you hear a little racket, that's Fred bumping into something. Okay, now, Fred the custodian is, he weighs 100 kilograms. He's a big guy. That's actually pretty close. Wouldn't you say there, uh, Fred? Probably. 100 kilograms, pretty close, yeah? Probably. Okay, now, he's walking on ice, and the ice has a coefficient of 0 0.05. Anything less than 0.1 is going to be ice, snow, slippery, that sort of thing. Now, he slips on the ice, but he saves himself. There is some friction there. There's some friction that's going to, there's some force of friction that's going to save him. What force of friction is actually going to save him? All right, so what do we have that's important here? What do we have? We have 0 0.05 is the mu. He's 100 kilograms. So what do we need to know? It's a horizontal plane, so his weight is going to be 1,000 newtons. All right, so let's erase some of this, okay? So we want to know what friction actually brings him to a stop. What, sa what saves him? There's going to be some friction, no matter how small the coefficient of friction is. Let's look at the coefficient of friction. We know that that's going to be over Fn. And we know that Fn equals Fw horizontal. They're equal, right? They're equal. So it's the weight. So we know that Fw equals a thousand newtons, which equals Fn. We know that the coefficient of friction is 0 0.05. You see this? The smaller this value, as that, that's constant, and as that approaches zero, that's going to approach zero. So the smaller the, the smaller the coefficient of friction is, the smaller the force of friction. But as long as that's something greater than zero, you're going to have a force of friction. Now, now, now. So the force of friction, the force of friction equals. mu times n. I use some pretty simple numbers. So point, point zero 0.05 times a thousand. Fifty newtons. Fifty newtons. That's it. Fifty newtons. Okay? Fifty newtons is the force of friction and that's the answer.